terms of uh, LN2 and LN5. On a test, what I could do is I could give you the approximation for LN2, LN5, and you'd have to go ahead and find out what the approximate value for LN10 is without a calculator. And so that would mean that you'd have to take this, split it up, use these rules, and then use the approximations for each one of those. Uh, if we go on to the next one, now we have a um, situation where we have exponents and we have a quotient. So I'm going to use the subtraction rule, which is up above here. And also, but i got to do the exponents first. So I'm going to go ln, and this one's going to be 2 to the 1 half all over 5 to the third. can't see my third there too well. So I have a log of a quotient, which is equal to the difference of the log. So I'm going to have ln2 one half minus ln of five to the third. And why I had to take out those exponents is because the instructions tell me ln two and ln five. Now I can finish this off by getting rid of those exponents. Well, we don't really get rid of them, but we can move them. We can use the plug rule. Here's the plug rule. If I have this exponent here, then I can put it out in front. So this one half is going to go there. This three is going to go here. So I'm going to plug this one half. So this will equal one half ln two minus three ln five. Once again, I could do this on a test. I could give you these approximate values, and you'd have to go ahead and figure out what they were multiplying by one half and multiplying by three and then taking the difference. The next one, find the exact value of each expression without using a calculator. Okay, find the exact values of the next ones. Eight here, well, it looks like I'm got, I got a base of three and a base of three. So I'm just going to rewrite this with the exponent. Log of three, if it's cube root, uh, you always got to think, is it negative five or one fifth? Well, it's one fifth. Get that right. And then the base three. So this is what three to what power gives you three to the one fifth? This will be... Oh, interesting. Uh, this would be equal to, uh, we have technical difficulties, just pause. And we're back, this is equal to one-fifth. Three what power gives you three to one-fifth. Uh, if you look at these, oh, this one's one of those nice ones. It spells line. Oh, so I can just go, vrit. and so this is five minus this is this equivalent of line, except for it's base 4 rather than e. And so 4 to what power gives you 4 to the third? That's going to be 3, so 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Things using logarithms, rules of logarithms. This one spells ln. It's a composition of inverse functions, so this would be equal to 6. Ln here would be equal to 18. Nice, 1 third. Logarithms aren't that bad. They really clean up nicely a lot of times. All right, so if we go down and look at the next example, this is using the rules again. And so in calculus, we need this for uh, derivatives, which you'll get to someday. But right now, we need this practice. And so we want to be able to split this up and expand it out as much as possible using all of our rules. So if I take this, this is a log of many products. So I got a log of 6 plus a log of x plus a log of y squared. The only other thing I think I can do here is use the exponent rule here with the 2. So this is the log of, 10 ba of 6 base 10 plus log of x base 10 plus 2 log of y. There's the plug rule. Ah, I love the plug rule. It's fun. All right, now here we have a product and a quotient all built in together, and let's see what happens here. You can pause this and try it yourself first. There is a trick here, though, and some of you will go too far. So if I get the log of x plus the log of z, and you can say ln or log... Um, depending upon what you want to do. And then this is ln of, I'm going to go y squared plus 1, 
to the one half. So I can do now ln x plus ln z minus one half ln y squared plus one. I should put that in parentheses. So I have the ln of a sum. Oh, the, where's our rule for ln of a sum? Is it here? No. Is it here? No. Is it here? No. Wait a second, I can't take and figure out or simplify ln of a sum. So we are done. This is your final answer right here. Please do not do this any further. Common mistake by students trying to split that up when they can't do it. All right, then the final portion is condensing the logarithms. So we want to condense this down. And in other words, we're going in reverse of what we just did. So I'm going to use my rules. I have the log of x, ooh, it's the reverse plug, and I'm going to reverse plug again, x plus 1 raised to the fourth. Now, since I have a sum, I'm going to use this one in reverse, and so I got the uv, I'm going to make a sum of logs and turn it into the log of a product. So I got a log of x to the 1 half times x plus 1 to the fourth. And I guess you could leave it like that. Log of square root of x times x plus 1 to the fourth. Don't bother expanding that, but just put it together to show that you know the rules. Uh, then this one, uh, we work inside the parentheses just like all mathematics. So I have the ln x plus, oh, this one I'm going to put up top first though. We're going to reverse blog. So it's one third ln x plus ln x plus 5 squared equal to sum, I'm going to turn it into product, 1 third ln x, x plus 5 squared, cover that all up, and then finally we have the, you can put cube root or just raise it to the uh, 1 third x x plus 5 squared, that whole thing to the 1 third. I guess there's different forms that you could maybe simplify that into, but I'm okay with that one at this stage. Finally, uh, you might want to look at the homework and look at the section if you had any questions, and also post in the uh, Googles, Google Docs to see if there's anything that you want to put in there, any questions that you have for me. Thanks.